From 300 transistors to billions of transistors. From creating circuit semantics by hand to fabricating billions of transistors in a single process. Chip density and complexity have come a long way. All these advancements wouldn't have been possible without Verilog. So let's discuss how Verilog became the favorite SDL for VLSI engineers. Very few people know that Prabhu Goel, an alumnus of IIT Kanpur along with a team at Gateway Design Automation, developed Verilog. During the late 90s, we used to draw circuit semantics by hand, limiting our ability to synthesize only thousands of transistors. However, with the advent of Verilog and VSDL, this changed completely. Now we no longer need to worry about the placement of each transistor. Writing code based on behavior is sufficient. For example, consider designing a 2 to 1 multiplexer. In Verilog, there is no need to explicitly mention the placement and routing of each MUX component. Describing the MUX behavior is enough. We simply specify that if the select line is 0, pass I0 to output and if select line is 1, pass I1 to output. But why did Verilog become more famous? Even though VSDL can also achieve the same results. So the reason is simplicity and familiarity. Verilog syntax is often considered to be simpler and more concise resembling the C programming language. This similarity makes it easier for software engineers and those with a programming background to transition into hardware design. The familiarity and ease of using Verilog can reduce the learning curve and streamline the design process for those already familiar with C-like languages. Second reason is industry adoption and ecosystem. Verilog has gained significant industry adoption and has a well-established ecosystem. Many commercial electronic design automation tool vendors offer extensive support and tool sets for Verilog. This widespread industry adoption means there are abundant resources, libraries, and reference designs available for Verilog. It also increases the likelihood of compatibility with various design tools and facilitates collaboration within the industry. But there is one area where VSDL is often preferred over Verilog and that is safety critical and mission critical applications, particularly in industries such as aerospace, defense and automotive. VSDL along with their ecosystem such as established libraries, processes, practices in safety and defense offers a strong emphasis on design verification and formal verification methodologies making it well suited for safety critical designs that require rigorous verification and validation process. Do you think system Verilog being both an hardware description as well as hardware verification language along with the UVM environment can also take over this defense aspect? I would like to hear your opinion in the comment section. Let's meet again in the next video soon.